Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. Last episode we got involved in a world, 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 very world war. Uh, we are at war with France, we are at war with Britain, everybody is at war with each other, and shit is going down. Uh, right now it's basically uh, a naval war. There's been no ground combat whatsoever. Uh, I'm still completely 100% perplexed as to why birthplace of the revolution. What is this nonsense? Great Republic. Revolutionary Lithuania. I've never seen that before. Huh. I have no idea what that is. Well, anyway, Bohemia is not at war, unfortunately, with France. I was really hoping they would be at war with France, but they somehow weaseled their way out. They are, however, at war. Ooh, and we have a hell of a naval battle going on over here. Uh, I don't see any French... Oh, there are some French heavies in there. But we're kicking their butts. Basically, what I want to do is rest, rest control of the seas away from the French and the English... Uh, which I'm doing a pretty good job at so far. And that'll give us, uh... Mm, a good... A good chance of... Let's see, we lost nothing. We gained six transports. They lost 18 transports, 13... Oh, they lost the whole... Well, all but... Th uh, 30 transports got away. And there are 13... So there's 43 transports right here, right now. But we are going to head up this way, and we're, we're basically just chasing everyone down, trying to take out as many navies as we possibly can. Is this admin? Is this is admin. Revolutionary Republic, Revolutionary Empire. I guess. What does that do for your government? Hmm. I don't see it in there, so... How do you turn into a revolutionary empire? Maybe only one person can do it. What do we got here? 13 heavies and transport, so that's it. I'm not worried about that. And I got there first. I'm not sure what the negative is there. I honestly don't know. All right, so we're 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 we're, we're taking care of business over here. The automatic Russia occupied. Who who Oh, Russia. The Jesus Christ. I thought we built a fort here. Alright, I knew that was gonna happen. Someone always does that, eventually. Okay, my chocolate. Is that war with France? Sweden. Oh, okay. I thought that was French land. Sweet. Was that all of Sweden? Is that what Sweden exists as? So we've got a problem. That problem being that we have Russian regiments in our homeland, which we're going to have to take care of. Uh, is that a Brandenburgian fleet of mostly transports? Where are our heavies? Here they are. Attacking the Og Oldenburg Navy. The Navy of Oldenburg, which is getting wrecked. Again, everybody's navy's getting wrecked. I've got a doom stack of ships nobody can do anything about. So, I lost a heavy. I lost a light, and I gained four transports. They lost the entire fleet. Man, they just... Are they just constructing more ships? Because I feel like I'm sinking them and sinking them and sinking them, and they just more of them pop up. All right, so we are going to have to do something about those troops over in the homestead. Which means our navy is going to be preoccupied for a while. That's 36 lights. Here, let's do this. Let's get some ships together. We're gonna have to split these up a uh, later to, you know, do the trade thing. Our, our trade network is destroyed because all of our ships are involved in combat. All right, so you're gonna go here. You're gonna go there. Well, 24 ships. Is that enough to, uh... Well, let's do this. 
that enough as a, a, of an escort? So this is Brandenburg. Mostly Brandenburg. Lights, galleys, and transports. Again, with the oodles and oodles and oodles. Alright, so we're going to merge these together. We've got 24 frigates. we got a random galley. And we've got 100, or not 108, we've got 83 transports. So let's load these guys up. And actually, we're going to go through this way, so let's wait till we actually clear these guys out, and then we'll we'll be good to go. Oh, and before we forget, 48 ships, merge, 8 ships, 79, These those are the guys on auto, I think. Callies. Yeah, I got one galley. Thanks for the plus. Alright, merge. Come over here, take out that French fleet for me. I'm just, I'm not destroying as many ships as I'd hoped to in most of these battles. I mean, I am getting some here and there, but just not as many as I hoped. Although that one was pretty good. They lost 22 transports, 6 galleys, and 16 lights. So now you, sir, are gonna come this way. Go down here. Gonna have to take out that Russian army. Oh, that's an ally of mine who had a thousand men up here for some reason. <laughs> I mean, I can get a decent amount of, uh... I've gotten a decent amount of war score. I just got four times the troops I have. I can get more. I'm just so bummed Bohemia didn't do what they were supposed to do. I don't know why. I can't really put my finger on that. Uh, let's actually select mission. We're going to hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean. And these guys are going to go and do their thing. Alright, we're going to... Uh, we're going to create a new unit here. It's going to be all of the... Peculiar ship, well, all these transports, basically. Select these units and move them over here. And we're going to upgrade what needs to be upgraded for those ships are out of, out of date. These guys repair at sea, which is fucking awesome. And what I'm going to do is, let's, for now, let's have them hunt enemy fleets. Oh, North Atlantic, so big. And the North Atlantic. That is a massive area to police, but we're gonna go with that. There's the, there's the French. Now I think what would be best would just be an attack Castile to take that. I wanted them as an ally, but that didn't happen. Well, it, it did happen, and then it, it ceased to happen. It was an interesting situation. So what's costing me money right now? Um... Rudolph corruption, nothing. Army maintenance, fleet maintenance is huge. That's basically it. Oh, the forts are up right now. Also, I bet my trade is plummeted. Yeah, trade's pretty low, but we can uh, we can afford the. Well, this is an interesting battle. It's mostly heavies. Well, heavies and lights versus others. Septic culture. I don't know if that's going to actually help anybody. No, it doesn't look like it did. Uh, so let's see. We gained two lights and a transport. They lost their heavy 26 light ships and two transports. So let's see. Oop. Did that not work? Oh, great new unit. Um, don't need you. I'm going to go over here. Blah. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, can we just have him sit here and blockade? I feel like that, because that's a that's where the node is. Is that really going to do a lot of damage to their economy? Or just a little bit. All right, what's going on here? In Uruguay. Well, that's where Oldenburg's coming in. 
I didn't realize it was them. That 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 England had brought them in. All right. I'm still bummed that Bohemia is not fighting France like they're supposed to. And there's no way for me to make them. All right, who are you at war with now? The Ottomans? Great, well, it's just Great Britain. Oop, Roomba just turned on. Hang on a second, I gotta turn him off. All right, sorry about that. He's in the bedroom now instead of out here with me. That is, that is the Roomba. Um, so I just checked on the war goal with, uh, you know, uh, a peace deal with France. They will not accept any, even a white peace right now, which I find interesting. Let's see. So they've got a lot of troops. It's just they're spread out all over the place. They can't make the crossing here. Because this is Castile's land. And I control the I control the waves. I do definitely control the waves. I would love it if this navy could actually catch somebody. There we go, there's somebody. I'd love to have not hit. Not having to have fought England and France at the same time, but they have they're, they're mutually exclusive interests, so it's really not that big of a deal. All right, we wrecked Oldenburg's fleet. That's not them. Oldenburg, there we go. Yeah, destroyed. So how do we want to play this? We could. Oh, you know what we forgot about? Fucking A. Russia. Maybe we could try to knock Russia out? I could have sworn we put in a freaking castle there. Guess we didn't, though. Whoa, look at that morale! That's high. Look at my discipline, though. 113. Okay, so that was a stack wipe. Alright, good. Doing pretty good. Mediterranean is a Sokolovan lake. We control it. Where's my fleet? They up here? Oh, they're... Jesus Christ, are they really heading out there? They're almost at Greenland. So mountains, dry land... Should be... Wow, really? No, Gibraltar... I was about to say that. No, Gibraltar's mountains. So if we control these two, that'd be great for us. Merge. That's 23 more of these. Trans um, transports. Capture. Apparently, transports are just easy as hell to to capture. Nobody's losing any. Nobody's lost any troops. Oh, hello. Who is this? Where's my fleet? God damn it! All the way up here. Move these guys down. We need to take more French land to get more war score. How much? Well, it's gonna keep ticking up a little bit. Well, it's actually gonna keep ticking up a lot of it. Let me get that navy back down here. North Atlantic's too huge, and the French navy's pretty big right now. So what's going on down here? So Sokolov in Brazil is getting <laughs> ravaged. Yeah, multiple armies all over the place. So my colonies are getting wrecked. <clears throat> but that's England. That's what's going on here. Uh, take colony. So the, the, their whole thing is South America. They want to take control of South America. Ooh, that's even right there. They've got 58 ships to 58. I outnumber them slightly on heavies, and that's the only thing about that. Let's bring in a new one, another one. Uh, too many leaders. Okay, that's okay. I don't know. That's, that's not gonna do much. But let's see if we can what we can do about this. I don't like them being over here. Did we catch them? Nope, they left. Brazil. 
Got a lot <laughs> captured a hell of a lot of ships. All just transports though. So they're heading down this way. Oh, now they're going up here. Chasing these bastards around <laughs> the Mediterranean. Alright, who's here that we're gonna catch? Nobody? Just having a merry old chase. Brandenburg? Alright, where's my fleet? Here they are. Oh, that's what they did. Got themselves together in Provence. Alrighty, you bastards. That's the way you want to do it. You know who needs more heavy ships? You know who can't afford more heavy ships? Negative 50. Jesus Christ, that's huge. Where's that coming from? Is it the fleet maintenance right now? Because they're taking damage? I feel like, if anything, France should be... France's economy should be doing much worse than mine. Visor maintenance, state maintenance, harbor fees, army maintenance, fleet maintenance, fort maintenance, missionary maintenance. I think it's just that my income... My income hasn't dropped that much, has it? Alright, maybe it has. Maybe the ship's not pushing the trade... Trade uh, stuff, goods around. Why does that keep switching like that? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's dropped by about half, I think. I think not controlling the nodes as much as I had before is costing me money. So we're going to have to take care of that. All right, so let's um, create a new unit. Let's take some of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's take eleven of these, and they're gonna attach this fleet here. These guys are gonna. Where's that old other fleet? Here it is. That Brandenburgian fleet. All right, so I got that back. So what do we want to do? Whoa. Hello, friends. France? Well, they've got two heavies, 54. Oh. Yeah, they outnumber me there. All right, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you guys doing? Stick together. I think I could beat that French army with my army. My leader still sucks, right? Yes. What if we, military, uh, made a general out of our heir? A female ruler cannot be a general. Balls. They're coming here. They're going to arrive there and... Oh, okay, they're just about there. Oh, no, right here. Shit! What? My Whoa! Okay, um, apparently they got, like, 25% more morale than me now. From Alon. Just for shits and giggles, I guess. They crushed me. They freaking crushed me. Jesus Christ. That better not be a stack wipe. Also, I thought I got there before them. No, but I lost... It's not a stack wipe, but I lost a shit ton of men. They're, if they chase me down, it'd be a stack wipe. They're going here. Maybe I can get them on the transports. Global settler increased trade range, trade efficiency. Don't really need that at the moment. And they are chasing me down. Alright, we won here. They retreated. <clears throat> Merge. Now I'm unhappy. How do they have 10 morale? That's insane. 
They had a ton of modifiers. I'm not sure what they all were. Army tradition. So their army tradition is just way higher than mine, I guess. We're at 26. They still won't even accept a white piece. I swear to God, if they stack wipe those guys, I'm going to rage quit. How does France have goddamn 10 morale? I've never seen morale at 10 before. I can't believe at 26% war score, even a white piece is undoable. <laughs> this is funny. Um, I checked before when I was at 22% war score. And they wanted, they would have accepted less at 22% than they will at 26%. That's insane. That I don't get. Oh, this Bohemia thing is just really throwing me for a loop. Are they still at war with England? Yeah. How much you want to bet I'm going to get stacked wiped? No, they can't chase me. They can't chase me, thank freaking God. Because I have the forts there. the size of my military, I guess. The only thing I can do is try to outnumber them I, at this point. Transported a damn army to my homeland. Right, where are you? You need to come over here. Intercept that French fleet down this way. They already breached the wall. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Well, apparently, we're not nearly as good on land as I hoped we would be. Alright, we need to start getting our, our ships working again. Well, actually, it'd probably be best is to still keep them together. So, let's say, let's go here, and, I mean, we lost all of our trade power everywhere. Alright, so... Oh, these guys need to be upgraded? Oh, it's just one. So that's fine. Um, protect trade in this one here. There we go. What's that? Where are you? Brazil. Protect trade in Malacca. There we go. Get that going a little bit. I can't believe they have morale of 10. Also, they fucking critical... They got a critical strike on the goddamn first first freaking roll of that siege. Why can't I merge these units together? I lost a battle? Oh, that was way over here. Okay. It looks like I'm on the, the raw end of the deal for both of these wars at the moment. I don't know where that French fleet went, but... There's one right there. Is that mountains? That's mount- that's hills. That was a terrible battle. Just awful. 
Well, I don't know. I don't think I can ever beat them on land. Not with that kind of, uh... So they're heading over here. It's a 4-3-4-3. Four, three, four, three. That... Ah, Jesus Christ. Okay. We're in a bad situation. Alright, we got 2% more war score than we had before. Still unwilling to come to the table at 28% war score. Relative strength of alliance, France holds Paris. What does that matter? That's no, Paris wasn't the goal. It's still... They're asking for the same amount of provinces, they're just asking for steadily less important ones, it looks like. So I have a maneuver of only two, which means I would have to avoid, try to avoid a straight crossing penalty. Which means I have to, I can't come from Maneve, can't come from the one I'm in, I, I have to come from the back side. So I have to go like this. Or not, I cannot come from that side, because they control this fort, which means I can't move over there. Alright, so, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, there's no river crossing here. So this is 62,000 men to 49,000. Okay, there is a river crossing penalty there. Oi. Never understand these river... Okay, so it's bordered by one, two, three, four. So no matter what, there's a river crossing penalty there. So I'm going to take a no negative one there no matter what. I need to try to get a better general. There we go. Fire of six versus a fire of four, I think it was. Yeah, look at that. Straight off the bat, my morale is garbage, comparatively. Zero. Alright, got some good rolls in there. Alright, good. We did really heavy damage to the French army there. The Brits... I'm not sure what they want out of this. Great Britain is making games, length of war, British military strength, Great Britain holds London. So we can't get over there. Because they control this fort right here. Send in one. Send it in what I got. Oh, good. Really? It's gonna take forever to siege that down. Forever. Oh God damn it! I'm getting frustratified. I'm also losing money. All right, what are we looking at now? So, what are they look at? What are they willing to accept now? I, I, like every two percent, I'm uh, clearing this out. So, they're still not ex willing to accept a white piece. They're only willing to accept concessions from me. All right now, they're telling me that I have to give them fez. All right, I'm gonna have these guys patrolling up and down the West African coast. These guys are gonna get detached enough to do the siege so we can avoid attrition. Cruelty of mercenaries, ugh. Oh, they landed some troops. That's interesting. Why can't I get over there? Oh. Well, we stacked wipe of a, a, a French army of 40-something thousand men. Their morale is ridiculously huge, though, and I can't believe that it's going to take me this long to siege this place down, considering they took it in a hundred and something days.
How's my war exhaustion? My, nobody... We can go to war, apparently, until the end of time. What is that? Uh, can I see what the French economy looks like in here? Their military rating went through the roof. Their land morale is crazy high. Losing wars. I'm just really bummed out that the, the, the whole plan the entire time was for... Bohemia to help me out with this, to take the pressure off. You know, they they were basically in charge of the land war. But, looks like that's not how the way that worked. 31%. Is this going to tick up more? It can tick up more. Did we actually breach the walls? Because that, that took a big jump. We did, thank God. Alright, let's take these guys out. So, whoa. What are you doing up here? <laughs> I'm pretty sure West African Sea is nowhere near Norway. Just a uh, shot in the dark there. I could be wrong, but you never know. There's basically been no land war. It's been all on the seas. We got 80? Hunting enemy... F oh, they're hunting enemy fleets over here. Okay, so these guys could, could, uh, could stand to get back to work. So let's create a fleet. Uh, well, let's let's do this. Let's bring them back over here. Because right now our economy is in tatters. We're losing. Fit, we're losing almost as much as we gained before. And I'd I'd like to finish this war with France on a positive note, and then go kick England's ass. It's frankly, what I'd probably do is just land a shit ton of troops in England, and screw them over that way. Pretty sure Castile doesn't like... Well, they like me a little bit. Nope, can't... I can't walk in there. They're not... They're not thrilled about that. No, that's not gonna be happening. Can't believe that France took this in less than half a year. Less than six months it took them to t take this fort. There's only two years left in the game. The fort's officially over. Who did we just beat? I wasn't even... It must have been that French Navy. Alright, we're at 32% war scores, so why don't we look again? Yeah, we definitely knocked some more ships out. Ah, so now they are willing to take a white piece. I want that, though. We're close to that. We are close to that. Uh, it's a shame that this war isn't going to go quite as well as I thought it would. I thought there would be 200,000 screaming bohemians ripping their way through the French uh, frontiers. But no, it didn't work out that way. And we're going to have to end this episode right here. If you have enjoyed it, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Europa Universalis 4, just subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time.